I'm Monty Francis with INTA TV, and we're here at the annual meeting for 2011, and we're joined now by the 2011 INTA Annual Meeting Co-Chair, it's a long title, Max Kinkledy. Thanks so much for joining us. Good morning. Can you walk us through what attendees can expect over the next couple of days, please? I believe we have a number of interesting new features I would like to highlight quickly, starting with InterTV, of course. And uh, in addition to that, we have a new mobile app where attendees can download all sorts of information about the annual meeting, about the sessions, um, which is definitely something I recommend uh, doing. Uh, you can download it on, on iPhone, Droid, and Blackberry. Um, then um, I would like to mention the new speed networking opportunity, which allows colleagues to sit together with colleagues from all over the world for five minutes and uh, exchange information, get to know each other, and then after five minutes move on to the next colleague, uh, so that this is really time efficient uh, networking. And on top of that, I believe uh, I would like or should mention the art exhibit. Um, we had it last year, so this is the second time we have it with 40 artists from all over the world um, showing their photographs, their jewelry, their paintings. And um, so this is a nice possibility to get out of the interbuzz for, um, or leave the interbuzz for a couple of minutes um, and uh, discover the secret uh, talents of inter colleagues. I guess that's what I really would like to highlight for this year. Yeah, and you mentioned speed networking. Networking is obviously a huge component of what goes on here. Can you talk a little bit more about that? Networking in general or speed networking? You mean the difference between that? Well, overall, yeah. I mean, this is something new for this year, correct? The Definitely. speed networking, yeah. yeah. So I think um, when you only have limited time and you come flying uh, here from an entirely different part of the world, you really want to make the best uh, of it. and. Um, in the speed networking surrounding, you have the possibility to meet many colleagues in a very short period of time, um, get to know them a little, get to know what they're doing, what they have to offer, what you could offer to them, uh, make acquaintances, uh, which you can then um, explore and uh, maybe people you might want to work with over the next year and then meet again at the next annual meeting. And you did mention INTA, our, our INTA TV. We are here as a source of information. Are there other places that attendees can go to find out more information about what's going on over the next couple of days? Well, of course, the, the daily news um, is something I definitely recommend um, taking a look at, uh, spending some time. Um, this has been a great feature over the past years. Um, I always enjoyed uh, taking a few minutes off and uh, reading the daily news, seeing what's going on at the annual meeting. Um, that's something I would recommend to everyone. And something to look forward to as well as the 100th anniversary of the Trademark Reporter. Can you tell us about that? We actually have a session on that uh, where Professor McCarthy commemorates together with a panel of uh, very renowned trademark practitioners on trademark law in general and on the 100th anniversary of the Trademark Reporter. That's a session I definitely recommend people to go to. Anything personally that you're looking forward to this year? Well, we put so much, Dana Gillen, my co-chair and I, we put so much effort into creating all these sessions that I, I like them all. It's nothing where I would say, this stands out, that's where you have to go. But I have my personal favorite, and that will be a workshop on oral presentations where I would recommend people to go to because public speaking is really important and uh, making the best of a public presentation is definitely something people should learn how to do. Uh, so that session is something um, where I would go to. If I had one choice, that's the thing I would go to. And you had, you'd mentioned that there's an effort this year to move beyond just the, the issue of trademark law, correct? Exactly. So that's what we're trying to achieve with workshops like the one I just mentioned. We are trying not to just focus on the typical trademark development uh, or issues where trademark law is being um, highlighted from all sides and all aspects. We are trying to do something beyond that. And a session like the one I mentioned where um, we are teaching about oral presentations, that's something you can use anywhere. How many annual meetings have you attended out of curiosity? Let me count. Um, that would have been 14. 
I think the first the first meeting I attended was in San Antonio in 1997, and I only missed one annual meeting in the meantime, where my third daughter was born, um, and I didn't travel. But otherwise, I've been to each and every annual meeting. And any then. stand out as most memorable to you? I think I liked the San Diego meeting really well. Uh, the weather was nice. Things were close together. Um, it was good. People were in good mood, and I think that's what makes a big difference. And how does it feel to be in San Francisco this year? Just like being in San Diego. Yeah. Not quite as not quite as warm as San Diego, but yeah. Um, do you have any advice for new time or first time attendees who are here? For first time attendees, I believe it's it's always a bit difficult to to understand a huge crowd of almost 9,000 people like this one. So there's one advice I would want to give. Um, do not shove your business card into people's faces. Uh, do not push things. Don't drink too much at parties. Um, but at the same time, use the time you have to meet people, to get into the mood, um, understand what's going on. Go to sessions, learn something. Um, and take advantage of the entire trademark world coming together in one spot. Okay, that's great advice. Anything else you'd like to say about uh, what's coming up over the next couple of days? I guess we've covered pretty much everything that stands out, but what I really would like to recommend, um, we developed all those great sessions, workshops, industry breakouts. People should take advantage of that. We made sure that we have an interesting, diverse, and high-quality program. Um, so beyond the networking possibilities the annual meeting provides for, um, go to sessions, learn something about trademark law, exchange experiences, and just enjoy the meeting. Okay. Well, thanks so much. We look forward to it ourselves. All right. Thanks a lot. I'm Monty Francis for INTA-TV.